AI, artificial intelligence, is the answer to eliminate counterfeits on eBay and any other website if the owners of those websites want to use it and if they would train it properly. I know because I'm using AI on my website right now where you can ask questions. If it gives a wrong answer or doesn't have an answer, I can go in and I can input images and text or a link and it will learn that information and then next time you ask it the question, it will know it. It is that easy and I'm telling you it can happen. I want to show you something. I know people are thinking that artificial intelligence is fraud. It's not this or that. It's hype. It is not. Okay, it's a real thing, and it will spit out the same information over and over and over, and it will be completely consistent. And then it can also learn by cross-referencing its database. We have this 1871 counterfeit seated dollar. I can literally take this image and input it into AI software. Because there's an interfaces that you can use. I've got one for mine. It's called the chatbot. I can upload this image. And then I can put on there that the CC is the wrong shape font. So every time it sees a CC like this, it will flag it as counterfeit. It's that easy. It will happen. It can happen. That, that's how it works. I can do it. So I know it works. It's not some complicated thing where it has to know the, the everything, but it can. It can scan this whole coin, this whole coin at different angles, different images, like it's being scanned. Let's put it that way. I don't know of anybody that has a scanner connected to an AI right now, but that's going to be the way to do it. But every single counterfeit out there can be introduced, and it'll start flagging these automatically for eBay. And then you can have a volunteer group, which would be glad to do. I'd be glad to be a part of it. And, and the ones that are flagged, we can go and identify and verify, humanize, that it, yes, indeed, it is a counterfeit. Not only that, we eliminate damaged coins, too. Coins that don't have dates on them, this should be a no-date coin. It should never be allowed to be listed as a 1943. It's not a 43. They're using uh, pareidolia to, you know, they're making a shape of a three out. This should be listed as a no-date, and AI can... Look at this image, and anybody that tries to do this again, it will flag it, and then let humans look at it, determine it. Values. AI can be used to learn the values of coins, and would know and can learn that a 19, whatever wheat cent without a date on it, cannot be listed for $1,000 because that's not correct. It's not worth that much person here is trying to say that this is a 1982D small date, which it is. It's on a 3.1 gram plancha. But where are the scales? And why do they have it listed at 1242 when it will sell for over $10,000 if it was graded? Also, you can tell by the surfaces here. You see those lines? That's plated. It's not 3.1 gram, so I'm not really sure if they have scales that are uh, rounding it up and it's a little over because it may have a little thick plating or something, or a thicker planchet maybe, but this is not a solid alloy bronze scent. I can tell. I know this. I can learn this. And when you see plating bubbles like that, AI can see plating bubbles, and I, AI would know that this, this, that this is a copper-plated zinc planchet based off the plating bubbles and the, and the actual features on the coin. You can even see the flatness. I mean, this right here, this lines, you can see it. That's plated. I can tell. If I can tell and I can learn this, you can teach artificial intelligence this. It's not hard. It's that easy. We're not looking at subjective things here. We're looking at logic. Logically, without emotions, without any subjectivity, I can tell you, based off of the surface of this coin, that this coin is not copper. It's not a solid alloy copper. So the fraud can be eliminated by using AI because AI can flag every single one of them. And I know that that sounds crazy, but you can't tell me that if eBay starts eliminating this fraud this way, shows people that they actually care about the buyer, they would draw more people in to buy and sell than they have currently. eBay can rise back up into the ranks of the top 10 because fraudulent activity online is a minority compared to 
non-fraudulent activity. So we need to, to learn. They need to teach the AI that stuff like this is not correct. This is not a U.S. Mint product. The U.S. Mint has never minted a coin that looks like this with this kind of lines and the, the softness and the strike and the face. Now, is it imitating a coin that looks something like a dollar? Yes, it is, but it's not. And it can be taught to do that. That is not very difficult at all. Uh, I'm just saying the reason I know this is because I'm working with AI currently. And I know for a fact that it can be taught that these are counterfeit when they're counterfeit. All you need is a little bit of input, some images, and it'll do it. Now, is it going to be 100% perfect? I don't see where it's going to mess up whenever you tell it that it's the wrong font. And it can and show it the fonts and teach it the fonts, images of fonts that the U.S. Mint has ever used. It'll be able to compare and be able to spit out and flag anything that's, that's not the right font. It's not the right shape. It'll flag it. There's something different, something wrong, something's going on here. It can do that. So yes, AI is the answer to this because it's there's so much of it that a lot of it's going to need to be flagged and then reviewed. And there's only one thing that can do that, and that's uh, a non-human because it's going to cost more to have a bunch of humans doing this. So that's why I say that AI is the, the solution for this. Computer software is a solution for this. So anyways, thanks for watching my latest video. Please like, share, and comment, and have a great day.